Ladies and gentlemen, the most overpowered gun you can use in Vanguard. Well, uh, basically, there's a, there's a bit more to it than just that. The automaton is good. I think everybody and their mother knows that by now. But it's not always just monkey brain. This gun is good, and that's why it's just fatherless weapon. I'll be giving my thoughts on why this gun makes people want to throw their controllers and monitors out the window. To be honest, I didn't even think the gun was that broken a couple months ago. I wasn't looking at videos asking what the most bullshit guns were and making my parents wish they had gotten an abortion. I used the gun, I liked the gun, and I played with it whenever I wanted to, and over time it all started to come together for me. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <clears throat> you know what? Fuck. After that death, I really started to see the automaton's true potential. Damn. Huh. Damn, I got used to this thing off. The automaton starting out is kind of like a double-edged sword. Well, yeah, the gun eats the ass of people you shoot, and the recoil isn't even that much, so the gun feels very consistent. The gun only has 25 bullets in a mag to start out, so uh, you better be hitting your shots if you want to succeed with it. But for me, I kept using it, and it slowly started to turn into the automaton we all know today. Hands up, house! <laughs> oh, and the great part is, the gun is even good at low level. A pattern that I noticed throughout most of these clips is that I'm getting shot first and still coming out on top. If I was smart, I would just say this was because of my massive skill level and underwhelming penis size, but I'm just guessing it's because of this bullshit gun. It just wins fights. The Automaton isn't just a gun that's only good at max level, unlike some guns like the M1 Garand or some shotguns. The Automaton manages to be good almost instantly. As soon as you're able to get rid of that bullshit iron sights, which the 2.5 scope and the slate reflector are the only sights you'll ever really need for this gun, and you get them relatively early level, and when you get yourself the 45 round magazine, the gun goes from good to holy shit a blind kid could drop a nuke with this bitch, and the saddest part is, the gun gets even better leveled up. After all the trials and tribulation I had gone through, which by that I mean pressing LT and RT in the general direction of enemies, the gun is finally maxed out and ready for more serious play. Unless there's a dickhead with a shotgun around the corner. Oh my god, you bitch. With all the attachments that lower the recoil of the gun and the 75 round magazine which makes the gun look like two balls in a bong, the gun is now an absolute laser beam. And with the scope like the 2.5, you'll have no problem absolutely beaming people before they can even react to you, making a lot of people wish you were a part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. With my newly leveled up gun, I decided to take my fat ass into a couple of search lobbies to see how it holds up with the other fatherless sweat tards using the other broken bullshit weapons in this game. At first the search lobbies weren't too bad, me doing well in most instances, but I soon remembered why I don't play search and destroy. <gasps> Where? Oh my god. With the Vulcan sensor me hey ving 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 worker? What you should say to me? Sure, there was nothing inherently wrong with that death, but you'll see. Just each and every death will slowly make you more and more angry as time goes on. You see, all it takes is one game, and this Oasis game brung me to my fucking knees. With my buddy having packet burst and the enemies using the most infuriating guns you've ever seen, it really made me want to kick a newborn baby or some shit. Whether it was crummy tactics or getting rocked by good guns, the losses just piled up one after another. But hey, at least my buddy was doing well. With losing getting closer and closer to us, we had our last ditch effort to finally turn the game around. Unfortunately, we ended up losing that game by a decent bit, but justice wasn't too far away from these tryhard search players. In the last game that I played, I was mostly getting thrown around and simply being outgunned by other people, and that thought in the back of my mind that the automaton just doesn't cut it anymore became louder as each death made me even more mad. But this final game gave me hope. We started to come back after being down 0-3 to start the game, and every kill made it that much more satisfying, and soon after that we came away with a W, and I got to mag dump the tryhard at the end of it to make it that much more satisfying. If you could take away one thing from this video, it would be to at least try the automaton. While it may not be the most broken weapon in the game anymore, it definitely still will get you many kills and still be used really well in serious matches. I'd argue the average player could use this thing better than I can, so if I got so many kills with it, imagine how many kills your sweaty ass could get with it. 
the possibilities are endless. For those who want to know, I'll be giving my personal best loadout for the gun in the next clip. For the muzzle, I would have the F8 stabilizer. It's great for the accuracy and the damage range. If you want, you could also use the compensator for recoil control. Uh, the Zac 600mm BFA is probably the only thing you should be running. Uh, for the, the controllable, it's accurate, the reduced scope sway, and the gun bobbing. Maybe this is good if you like that, but I feel like this just fucking shits on it in comparison. The optic can be whatever you want. I prefer the 2.5 for this gun, but the slate reflector or anything else works. Uh, the stock I have the Empress, yeah, the Empress broadsword for the initial accuracy and recoil, the aim down sight speed and the recoil recovery. Uh, the accuracy and recoil just during sustained fire can be fixed with tight grip, although Frenzy is an amazing perk as well. Uh, the kit should always be fully loaded after you're done using surplus. There's really no other thing. You want to just have that ammo. The rubber grip is great for the recoil control, although there's probably others like the pine tar grip that work also, but I prefer the rubber grip. The 75 round mag makes it where you'll never run out of ammo ever again, and the downsides aren't even that bad. If you want, you could use the 45 round mags, but you might as well just go big or go home, and plus, it looks funny with the 75 round mag. The ammo type should almost always be lengthened if you want to be a bitch, go incendiary, but you know, this this always helps the bullet velocity. And the underbarrel will always be the M3 ready grip, uh, just the ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and the aim walking movement speed. It's just better than all the other ones. But that's all I got for y'all today. If you managed to like the video, just subscribe and like, and I'll catch y'all later.